Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope this video finds you well. This is going to be part two on the whole situation in East Palestine, Ohio. And the reason I'm doing this video is because there's a few corrections that need to be issued because, uh, well, I have better information today than I, than I did at the time of making that video. So here, the situation goes like this. I basically glossed over the whole phosgene formation uh, from burning vinyl chloride and uh, the reason I did that is because it said on the manifest that those cars weren't actually breached. Well, I did some more digging, and you guys have brought it to my attention as well, that actually that's not the entire story. They were not breached in the original crash, but they were later pulled to the side and drained into an excavation ditch and burned off. So... I formally retract my statement about this being a nothing burger, and there were several people that were like, well, please explain the dying fish, and please explain the dying, you know, uh, whatever. And the first thing I'll say is it doesn't take a whole lot to kill fish, okay? It, it, I, we have had ponds out here that do an inversion and just basically sucks all the air out of the water. Uh, it's really, really easy to kill fish. It's an indicator that perhaps you shouldn't drink the water right then, but there's no indication that just because you had a fish kill that uh, the water will be long-term unsafe to drink. Remember that you saw in the news that they did not initially evacuate the town. They, they evacuated the town after the fact. And my guess is they probably assessed the situation and they're like, we've got five tankers of vinyl chloride. They aren't currently leaking. However, they're pretty torn up. Because they're lying on the ground, they're no longer on the tracks. What do you do with a giant compressed balloon full of vinyl chloride? Well, they probably made the call that to do anything really industrious with them would be fairly hazardous. So they probably made the call to dig a ditch, dump it all in there, and burn it off rather than to allow it to seep out later or blow up later and cause a potential loss of life. So I'm going to guess that that's probably the reason they did that. And going with that... We already talked about in the original video that if you burn vinyl chloride, you will absolutely produce phosgene gas and hydrochloric acid. That hydrochloric acid is going to go up and that phosgene is going to stay down. And by stay down, what I mean is you're going to have a plume that's going to be produced and the rising vapors are going to push that gas up, but then it's going to fall back down because it is heavier than air. So it's going to sink down, and I would venture to guess, spread out in those low-lying areas and probably perpetrated the fish kill and some of those other uh, die-offs that you saw in the area, uh, unfortunately. So that's my best guess as to what happened. Of, of course, I was not there, so I can't say for certain. But looking at the sources that I have access to, that's what I'm going to guess. And just remember that an ecological disaster is totally okay as long as the EPA signs off on it first. So... <laughs> Sorry, that was completely uncalled for. The second clarification I wanted to make is I said something about it having a polyvinyl and that it was in a hopper. And my supposition was that I can tell you what a tanker is, but I don't know what a hopper is. But it, that tells me that it's a solid and that there are a collection of solids. And I, I don't know what that is. Somebody's brought to my attention that it's probably PVC pellets. Okay, well, it's still PVC. It's physical PVC. Uh, speaking of PVC, somebody said something about um, it's not a it's. They said that I alluded to it not being a big deal that uh, PVC was burning off. I don't understand how somebody can draw that logic because I just got done telling you that the precursor, which is vinyl chloride, is bad if you burn it. But then polyvinyl chloride, as in multiple vinyl chlorides linked together. Suddenly, that's okay to burn. That, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't. The one that I've been consistently pushing your way is PowerTac flashlights. This is the current EDC light that I use on a regular basis. And here's a video of my brother opening a beer bottle with this flashlight. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about is actually a reference to the chemical coast that came up in the comments. And the link is that I said at the very beginning of the video, basically, that the plastic burning down wasn't that big of a deal because if you burn it all the way down, then it just basically reverts to base carbon, et cetera, et cetera, uh, which is the truth. But somebody was like, no, nah, man, burning plastic's bad because you can make uh, dioxins and PCBs. Yes, yeah, yes, you can. But look at the words that I said, which is if you burn it all the way down, it'll go back to base carbon and, and stuff like that. A, a dioxin 
by definition then would not be burned all the way down to its base elements. What I would say is that yes, the chemical coast is the thing that happened. What we're talking about in this instance, while this is a, is, is a very bad situation in East Palestine, we're talking about a single incident that resulted in the burn off of a tanker or two of some, of some plastics. That is nowhere close to equivalent to decades worth of chemical production at the chemical coast. I'm not going to speak about about how I know about the chemical coast, but well, what I would say is that it is fairly dirty there and that uh, the ecological disaster that is East Palestine, Ohio, uh, is nowhere close to the level of ecological impact that those uh, production facilities had on those waterways there. So uh, they cannot even be closely compared even by orders of magnitude. Anyway, that's all I have for uh, today's video. Uh, what I will say is I appreciate all of you for tuning in and uh, bearing with me. This is a uh, this is a somewhat fluid situation, and I'm going to guess that we still don't have all the information, but these are my best guesses as to what we have. And you'll probably see this video first thing in the morning uh, so I can get you early. Uh, it'll take me a little bit to get all the back end done anyway.